Okay, so out here where I live, we have animals called javelina. Um, and I want to make some videos about them for you guys so you can understand why I'm smiling, kind of even giggling, and excited about talking about javelinas. Um, they're not pigs, they're collared peccaries. I want to share some fun stories with you and my evolution of being introduced to javelina. Um, I'm born and raised desert, so I had never seen these creatures until I moved to this area of Arizona. I am in Gold Canyon, so welcome, welcome to the desert. Welcome to my channel. If you are new to me, my name is Stacy, but everyone calls me Stace. So anyways, as I'm building this channel, I want you guys to also check back. There's tons of videos on there, about 100 plus videos that I've put of the animals that are around this area, but one of them you're going to notice, it says javelina. You may not have even understood how to pronounce it or what it says. I've got it written down right here. Let me see what's here. Javelina. Javelina. And I've made videos of them. Um, so you can, I want you to actually want you, I'm going to encourage you to go watch some of the videos that I've made before of the javelina around here. So you have a little more understanding of the animals that I'm talking about. But for me personally, I'm amused at the evolution that I have taken in regards to these animals. Like, so back in the day when I worked at the zoo, one of my jobs was to go around to different um, assigned animals and we would do what they were called creature features and talk about the animals. And to me, one of the harder ones for me to do were the javelina because I had never been around them. I had never seen them before. I had no point of reference besides the, the things that I read. And of course at the zoo, you've, you've got the education going, but I, ha I really hadn't had any interactions with them. So when I would go to do these creature features, you're supposed to be there for maybe like 15 minutes and talk about the animals to whatever group of people have, have shown up. Um, I was mortified, I hated doing those because I didn't know anything other than what anybody else could have read or pulled up themselves. Um, the animals that, the, excuse me, the javelina that we had at the zoo at that time um, were an older herd. And so for most of the day, they just, they, they hung out and they were taken care of. And even the snacks that I brought them, they're like, nah, I don't need to go out for. So I just didn't have the same kind of stories that I do now. Um, like I said, again, no point of reference. I'm, I'm sharing some of this also because I want you to Remember, the animals that are in your area might be very common to you, but somewhere else, people have never seen them, never heard of them before. So paying attention to the animals that are around you and their environment is valuable, whether it's birds or bunnies or larger things, just depending on, on where you live. So no, for me, I, I really didn't have uh, any point of reference. The desert that I had lived in and grown up in, I didn't see much. I really, I saw snakes and um, lizards and that kind of thing but I hadn't grown up with coyote and I hadn't grown up with the animals that I'm seeing since I've moved here um it is also because of my background working for the zoo that I realized this is a, an amazing area that I happen to be in and because of sitting up on top of a hill where the house is located I can see all the way around and we've got two washes that are on both sides of us it's natural drain off from the mountain that leads the animals pretty much over to the golf course that's across from us, which is their oasis. There's a, a man-made lakes over there, there's grass, there's trees, there's, there's all kinds of stuff. So we literally watch the animals coming and going. Um, so I have gone from someone standing, paid a, a, an amazing zoo, going, oh, I don't know much about these animals right behind me to now fast forward, I have them there around. If you go back to, like I said, to the videos that I have on this channel, we've got night camera, we've got day camera, they are around us. So first I wanna start with those, those, those fun stories, those, those neat interactions to let you know about these animals. And then we'll kind of move on into a series of videos, a little bit more um, in depth on why they're not pigs, why they're collared peccary, um, why they're a new world and, and all of the, the educational stuff that goes with it, because that's fascinating as well. But I figure we, we have to have a jumping off point from, from, from somewhere, right? So anyway, so, so Javelina, um, like I said, I, I went from never encountering them at all. We moved out here about five years ago and the i want to say the first week i was i was in the living room and i look out the window and in the planter 
there's uh, at least four of them standing in the planter and one's completely rooting up um, a cactus that we had out there at the time. And I, I was like, I, okay, I don't know what to do. So I did knock it on the window, yay, get out of the planter. And the one just looked at me like, you've got to be kidding me and kind of snorted and grunted and, and meandered their way back down. And wandered away. Um, we have about three acres of property out here. None of it's spent. So yes, the animals come and go. And so that's what makes it unique. That's why I'm, I'm um, doing these videos. That's why I established the Desert Nature Alliance. I um, built a nonprofit just recently. Um, just This is just a beautiful, amazing area that I want to share as much as possible. want to video and capture as much as possible. And I'm sure I'm not alone. I'm sure there are quite a few of my neighbors that are just as enthralled with the animals. You see videos and stuff posted all the time on, on Facebook and that kind of thing. It's, it's gorgeous out here. So I'm here to share with you and, like I said, continue the education, if you will, of the animals that are here. So, like I said, javelina are about, I'd say almost like dog size is what I would say to you. We're probably looking at, you know, um, a couple feet off the ground and a little square thing. And a lot of people do think they look like pigs. Again, we'll get into that later on another video. If you're, if you're that interested, you're going to watch the, the, again, the evolution of the videos, but we'll, we'll start talking more and more about the differences of, of a pig or a peccary or a boar and, and that kind of stuff, but a boar like me. <laughs> Anyways, I, one of the, the first unique things I found on the property. Now, remember we have three acres out here. We are up on a hill. We see all kinds of um, turkey vultures, hawks, large birds, and the coyotes come through. There are bobcat, mountain lion in my general area. I don't know who dropped this who <laughs> left it for me, but it was on the property way down. Um, and this is Javelina. And it's uh, not fluffy, not soft, um, brittly kind of hair. We have collared peccary or what the Javelina are. Um, and again, we'll get into that a little bit more. I want you to go back to the videos that I have posted. Got a little picture here. It was really hard for me to find something that I could show that was small enough. That is what they look like um, going across my driveway. <laughs> There's one. So if you see one running and you're not sure, you're like, did I just see a little bear? Like, what, what is happening out there? Um, gonna see herds of them out here. Um, for the most part, six, seven of them is what we've seen together, but I have seen pictures online um, of much larger groups of them together. Um, because like I said, my location, I've been able to really watch a lot of the interaction from a nice, safe distance. I don't recommend going up to wild javelina anymore, <laughs> wild pig, wild boar, wild anything. I w I'm not going to recommend you getting close. So if you're looking at pictures like this and you think that I got this because I was standing nearby, I really wasn't. It's just location, 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 and having cameras on the property. So because of that, where my main window is, if you will, up on the hill, I have gotten to see some amazing interaction with the javelina and the coyote. <sighs> That's a standoff. That was, that was quite amazing to watch. The coyote, I guess, it decided they were going to go after at least one of the javelina one day and the javelina were not having it. Um, they're very protective. Um, they definitely fanned out and they were able to shoo off the coyote and it was, it was neat and exciting. And, and like I said, from, from quite the distance, get to watch all the interaction on the howling and going up against the coyote and, and chasing them off. Um, from what I've been able to witness, they seem to be really good, um, family structure, parent structures. They try their, their best to keep their, their babies right next to them. Their babies are tiny, tiny, tiny. Again, go back to the videos. If, if I don't have it on here, go to my Instagram. It's the same name, Oso Stace. You can go to the Instagram and we caught, um, and you're going to get glimpses of them, at least so far for me, of teeny tiny little, little reds is what they call them. There's little, little baby javelina is just the cutest thing, but I'm, I haven't been that lucky getting um, videos of them because I don't try to get that, that close to them or anything. Mamas definitely don't want you to get close to them. They don't need that extra kind of stress, but it has been amazing to get to watch the family structures, them eating, them napping. I've like, so I've got videos of them now coming to get water and 
I'm evolving along with watching these families grow with the little, little babies and some that make it and some that don't. And that's been heartbreaking is finding the, the parts when, when they don't make it. So anyways, um, probably already gone on a little too long. <laughs> no, it's only 10 minutes and you know what? I'm going to keep going. Hang out with me a little bit more. I got a couple more stories I can share with you before I, I sign off today. I think the one of the more startling times I had with the javelina was when I was still working across the street at the golf course. Um, of course, to, to do any of the groundskeeping, you do it very early in the morning and sometimes it's really, really dark outside. And so driving up this one dirt area um, off to the side, there was a huge ditch. There was a hill on the other side. Um, and one of the guys was way in front of me. So in his lights, I could kind of see him avoid something, but he just kept going. But like I said, it's very dark out there. And in my lights, as I'm driving up, there's a baby javelina that is in the road in like a puddle. And I'm like, oh no, where's the rest of the family at? Where's the rest of the herd? This is, uh -uh. And in the, the road is this, and he's just squealing little baby javelina. It was, I was terrified. Okay, no, mom and daddy around here somewhere. So I, did, I sat in my cart and my cart didn't have like a cover or doors or anything else. So there I am just, I'm all telling the, the baby, like, go find mama, go find your mama. And, and then, then they all, oh, the noise come up from the hill and they're all in the noise. And I'm just sitting in the car going, please don't do anything. They ran with the baby and they, they ran off. And uh, not, not a situation I want to be in the dark without any of them near a baby in distress ever again. No, no, no. So yes, I have stories now. Yes, I have interactions with them. So I've gone from, I've never seen these creatures in my life to they are all over my property to now I have parts and pieces and things that I have found. So the evolution is huge. My educational ed evolution is huge. I, I want to share as much as I can. And I, I don't know, I guess at this point, say let's, let's watch this all grow and see where we go with it. And so far it's been pretty fantastic. So again, go back. Start looking at some of the videos. I called them Javelinaville. I think I put them in a grouping and we're gonna start doing a, a full series on the animals out here. So thank you. Thank you for following this channel. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the subscribing um, and, and look forward to, to hearing more from you guys. Have a great one.